Hey guys, welcome to our video. We're gonna fix this long mega. Okay. How do we complete this? Yeah. So what's happen to this? So it will we start and work. Yeah. You turn. Thank you, son. Uh, hi everyone, welcome back to our small engine effect tutorial. Today we have this uh, Victor V35 Commando back again, and it's not working. And previously I fixed this one; it was work, it works fine. And now it comes back with uh, a problem. So we'll see what's wrong with it, and let's get started. Let's get started. Okay. Okay, we ha we'll have a look at uh, what's wrong with this uh, unit. And Dad, I have a look. Yeah, you want to have a look? Uh, look at this one. Uh, it's obvious that um, Wait. the cover is it's broken. off. Now, this one, the cover is off. It's broken now. Yeah, the cover is off. So, and also the return spring Wait. is gone. So, Wait, it is so there's a lot of uh, dirt going inside. So, definitely we need to rebuild this uh, carburetor. I need to pull this one apart and rebuild this carburetor. Uh, before we do that, I would like my son to identify some of the parts Ooh. of the G4 carburetor. Ew. We have the G4 carburetor here. Uh, son, what, Thanks, is, Dad. what is this? Triple boat. Yeah, it's a, it's a float. It's, it's a triple boat uh, This float. one? It's a cam. It's a cam. Very good. Cam. And this one? It's a spider leg. It's spider leg. Hey. Wow. Uh, beauty. And Wait. what about this one? Wait, no, not yet. Okay, what about this one? Daddy spring. <laughs> it's a daddy spring. And this one? Baby spring. Oh, it's a baby spring. So there's a daddy spring and a baby spring. Oh, what else? Um, and that's and big. What is this? Yeah. Primer cup. Wow, it's primer cup. Very good. Do you still remember? And the, the last one, but not the least, what about this one? What do you call this? Pop and balloon. Oh, the puppet balloon. And the, the last balloon one. Pop. And the last one is this one. What is this? It's, um, what is this? Diaper. Oh, it's a diaper. It's a diaper. He called it the diaper. It's a diaphragm. Anyway. Um, that's, uh, that's all good. Anyway, we we'll start uh, uh, doing this one. Okay, son, uh, let's, uh, 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 let's, let's, uh, let's remove the let's remove this one. No, I do it. Okay, let's let's do the one. Let's undo that. Uh, you hold it properly. You hold that properly. Yeah. And the next one, next screw. Okay. And the third one. Yeah, all good. And make sure that um, we turn off the the fuel tap and remove this one. And we have to take this one out. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. We got it. Let's do this. Whoa, stop! That. Is okay. Okay. So we'll take put this one yeah. aside. So look at this. Okay. Okay. First, we need to remove the guard. Yeah, okay, take the guard out. Okay, just yes, put it, put it out. And we need to remove the, the carburetor. Uh, twist the carburetor counterclockwise, like that. Yeah, and then pull it, pull it off from the. Yeah, pull it off and take the hose out. This hose, take the one out. Take the one out. Yeah. Okay. Take it out, yeah. Take it out, and also the we take the the cut off um, the switch. Take it out, and also the the other the other one. Then the cover, and take this one out. And you see that the cut off uh, plug is damaged already, so we have to remove this one. And this is also one of the reason why, and um, the engine maybe is not running properly. And uh, previously, which I mentioned that I need to rebuild the carburetor, but uh, um, we thought that uh, everything is uh, working good. But uh, now we found out that this cover here is damaged. Uh, maybe something else hit on the rock hit on this one. Yeah. So we have to replace this one. 
and also we lost uh, the return spring it's gone and we need to replace with the new return spring so let's pull this one apart okay first is we need to remove the retaining plate then the diaphragm so removing the diaphragm from grabbing from inside it's likely to damage the control spring so i i found it uh, best to push that pocket bulb from from that end using any nozzle uh, old primer cap just push it in I have this old uh, uh, fuel pump with a uh, smaller nozzle also I can so once it's push it in you can easily Uh, remove the diaphragm so you have this control spring remove the spider and also we need to remove that snorkel hose so so we have to bring this one to that side so we can uh, take it off So that is easy to take it off and then just um, take that uh, cable so you can we can remove the, the cam so and also the the puppet bulb so we can also remove this part here so just to make sure that uh, everything is good it's likely to have uh, uh, dirt inside as well So we have already replaced this one with a new primer cap and also with a metal vitamin tip and needle. Uh, so it's pretty much clean. So but anyway, we will clean all the parts again. So we have this uh, metal needle here, the vitamin tip. So let's clean the parts. Okay, let's clean the bikes. So place in a container. So using uh, this five in one degreaser. Okay, it's getting dark now and it's raining so another way to install the carburetor is to install the throttle cable first so insert the throttle cable like this
and adjust the throttle okay it's just right there and place the cam so place the cam where that hole there it's lining up with uh, the bolt tip of the, the throttle cable okay so move the, the throttle and the cam rotate the cam so it, this part here will position towards the the kill switch now place the the puppet bulb next is uh, place the spider make sure that this this one here it's uh, lining up with with its uh, three legs on the side the control spring and the diaphragm so make sure that the diaphragm on the side doesn't get caught then the retaining plate so before you install the this cover before you install the cover so you have this return spring placed onto that retaining plate before you install the one uh, you need to rotate the the plate to make sure that you still have the the puppet valve uh, let us see position to the uh, jet which is not so you have to rotate so for this engine um, the puppet valve letter is C so place the the cover make sure to get into that and position the the nozzle towards the towards the that side where the the governor hose is connected so make sure that the inside the rubber is um, it's not caught so place this one and just press it to to lock the cover okay so that's in so the next part is we have to install the uh, primer cap so place the o-ring around the primer cap your uh, the metal needle a vitamin tip And the float place a little bit of lubricant around the o-ring and when you install this one just pull the, the float so it doesn't fall off so place it like this and make sure that the you have this horizontal line And then the jet. So we need to clean this part here before we insert that into the manifold. Then we need to install the snorkel hose. Just uh, squeeze that clip. Then we need to install the the kill switch plug. So just insert the kill switch plug there. And insert this one into that that hole. 
and install the cover then the other contact just insert this one right there and it goes all the way to the back to the other end so you see that it's coming it's coming here then the governor hose stole the governor hose then the return hose from the decompression bulb then insert the carburetor into the manifold then rotate it clockwise when you click okay so it's installed now it installed the guard then the cowling where the fuel tank is and fuel hose okay let's try if we can start engine and make sure that there's no uh, tools underneath prime For watching a video tutorial for today i hope you'll find it useful in fixing a victor a two stroke a g4 carburetor and my son's already asleep it's already eight o'clock at night and i saw i'm so tired and i hope you enjoy um our video tutorial for today don't listen forget to subscribe to our channel leave a comment if you have any questions so i'm free to answer some questions and thanks for watching and see you next time